Hi everyone, welcome to the series of oral health. Today we're going to talk about xylitol, which is a natural cavity fighter for healthier teeth. So xylitol is actually a sugar alcohol, which has got n number of benefits for the oral health as well as the teeth. So what it does is that the first thing is it will stop cavities. So it will starve the harmful bacteria which we have in our mouth. And these bacteria, they cannot use xylitol just like other sugar. So they will stop making the acids that will cause cavities. That's the first thing. The second thing is that it will reduce the plague. So it makes it harder for the bacteria in order to stick to our teeth. So there is less plague buildups. And the third one is it will protect our enamel. So xylitol will help our teeth repair those tiny damage by making the enamel much stronger. And the fourth one is it will fight those dry mouth. You know, it increases the saliva production. So which will wash away any of the bacteria and also the food particles which is stuck between our teeth. And thereby it will keep our mouth healthy. And the last one is it will balance our mouth acidity. So xylitol will normally keep the acid level in our mouth low. So this will create a safer environment for our teeth. So basically xylitol has a number of benefits like I mentioned now. So how can you use it? For me, I have xylitol, like I bought a powder. I'm going to link it. It's not a sponsored one, but it is something which is non-GMO, which is very important. We have to make sure that the xylitol, the content is good and organic enough. And uh, this you can either, you will also get it in as chewing gums or as in a toothpaste. But what I do is I just take a half a teaspoon of this and I put it in my mouth, just like every other sugar and it will dissolve very quickly. I just rinse my mouth with it. And after that, you not you should not eat anything for next one hour. So you will. So after one hour, so it's not about how much quantity you you use in order to rinse your mouth, but it is more about how frequently you use it to rinse your mouth. So what you could do is each time you have your food, after you finish your food, then you can rinse it with it, and make sure that before you could rinse it, drink enough water and stuff like that. Because once you rinse it, you should not eat or drink anything for next like 30 minutes or like for one hour. I do it for one hour. So you do that. I'm pretty much sure if not in six months, minimum within three months, you will be able to see the positive result, be it a bleeding gum or be it a cavity or be it any sort of oral uh, issues. Uh, you will see a positive result in this. So please give it a try and uh, try to write me in the comments. Okay.